Hi, I'm Stuki. Today we are making this wonderful Prague cake. Let's prepare the baking dish for our sponge cake. The ingredients are listed on the screen. They are also in the description below the video. Melt the butter in the microwave. In general, all ingredients should be at room temperature, including butter. Separate the egg whites and yolks over a separate bowl so that no part of the yolk leaks into the whites. This is conventionally done by dividing the egg in half and pouring from a small bowl into one large common bowl. Add a pinch of salt to the whites and start beating with the mixer. As soon as white foam appears, I begin to add 3 tablespoons of sugar according to the recipe. Continue to whip the whites until stiff peaks. Now whip the yolks together with the rest of the sugar at maximum speed for about 4 to 5 minutes, adding the sugar gradually, not all at once. Once ready, clean and wash the mixer whisk. In a separate bowl mix the sifted flour and sifted cocoa. You can even sift twice for a more fluffy mixture. It's a good time to put the oven preheated. Add the baking powder to the flour and pour this mixture of flour and cocoa in small portions to the yolks and mix gently from bottom to top. Do not add all at once but add in portions and mix everything gently. First, together with the yolks and then gradually add the whites into the mixture. Do not mix it too long, try to do it literally in a few movements. Our task is to make homogeneous mixture, but that it does not fall off. And as quickly as possible move the dough to the baking form and put it already in the oven, so the biscuit will be puffy and will rise better. Biscuits will be ready in about 40 minutes. At this time let's prepare the syrup for soaking the cake. Take an equal amount of sugar and water and bring the mixture to a boil. Add a spoonful of cognac to the boiling syrup. Do not take out the ready sponge cake at once and leave it in the oven with a door ajar. In about 15 minutes take it out and let it cool down. Then put the biscuit on a rack so it becomes room temperature, which takes about 2 hours. When cooled, wrap the cake in cling film and leave it in the refrigerator for a few hours to rest. It is time to prepare the cream for the Prague cake. The cream consists of a custard part and a whipped butter part. Let's start preparing the custard base. We mix condensed milk and hot water. Mix thoroughly. Add yolks. As soon as the butter comes to a boil, take it off the heat and let it cool to room temperature. Now we make the butter part of the cream. Mix butter with a spoonful of cocoa, then add our custard part to the mixture and whip it all with a mixer. The custard part should be at room temperature, this is important. It's time to assemble the Prague cake. To do this, I cut 4 squares of siliconized cooking paper, which I place on top of the overall cake liner. These squares are needed to make it easy to remove all the extra dirt that will appear from assembling the cake. Now, cut the sponge cake into 3 pieces. Try to cut it about evenly. But if you don't have it rising too well, you can make the top part, the cap, a little smaller since there will be still the chocolate there. To cut the biscuit, you can first make small notches about a couple of centimeters and then cut everything with a knife in a circle. Put the first layer of sponge cake and soak it in syrup. That's where the sugar and water were. We soak the biscuit and then spread the cream on top. The whole cream can be divided into about three parts at once. And here is about one third to spread on top. We put another layer of biscuit, 
And if you see any irregularities somewhere, you can trim them at this point. Again, soak the biscuit well with syrup. Put the cream and smear it thoroughly on the surface. Don't skimp! The cream should be about as thin as the biscuit layer, the last layer of biscuit. Soak again with syrup inside. The better you soak the biscuit in syrup, the tastier the cake will end up. You don't have to get it completely wet either. Now, cover the cake on top. We take the rest of the cream and spoon our cake around the sides. To cover the cake, I make a ganache of cream, dark chocolate and butter. First, we add the cream and put it on a low heat. Once the cream heats up and the first bubbles appear, add small pieces of chocolate there. I simply take a bar of chocolate, break it up into smaller pieces and toss it into the cream. You have to keep stirring to make sure the chocolate is dissolving. As soon as the mixture starts to boil, you can turn off the heat and just dissolve the chocolate in the warm cream. Towards the end, we add the melted butter and stir. Spread apricot jam all over the cake and top the jam with a chocolate coating. You can use icing or ganache. The top of the finished cake can be decorated of your liking. Draw stripes or pictures. I do this with a normal food bag, in which I put the rest of the chocolate mixture. Here is how the cake turned out. We remove the extra four squares of paper on which you can see the remaining chocolate. Now our cake becomes very neat and lies on a perfect base. We put a cake in the fridge overnight and in the morning we see a gorgeous dessert. The cake has hardened, become very beautiful, infused with flavors. You just want to taste it and eat it. It was our birthday party. Everyone really enjoyed the cake. I want to eat another piece with you and share some extra tips. It will take you about a whole day to make a cake like this. If you start making it at uh, 11 am, you will be done by about 7 pm. And the next day in the morning the cake will be completely done. You get a lot of cake and it's very tasty, soaked, cool. It's important to store it in a cake rack in the fridge, so the biscuit doesn't dry up. Bon appétit!